So what we first are going to do is learn how to engage your transverse abdominis. This muscle is your deep inner core. It's almost like your inner corset. So if you don't know how to find it, you can feel on the insides of your hip bones. So you feel those hip bones and then you drop in. And I want you to try to exhale forcefully or cough or laugh. You should feel your abdominals contract. So trying to maintain that with breathing is what our goal with this is going to be. So you can see when I exhale, my rib cage drops down and that's when that pelvic floor is also engaging and the transverse abdominis is also engaging. It's not necessarily about pressing the back against the floor, but pressing just the rib cage down, lifting the pelvic floor to slowly engage your core. So once you have a good feel for that, trying to maintain that with bringing your legs or your knees out to the side. And the goal of this is not trying to bring your knee out as far as you can, but making sure that your pelvis stays stable. So you can see that my hips do not move as my leg falls out. With this example coming up, you can see how my pelvis or my trunk rotates. That's what we're trying to avoid. So if that means going in a smaller range of motion so that you can control that, that is perfectly fine. But what we're trying to do with this is trying to use the transverse abdominis to hold the pelvis tight. Don't allow any wiggling side to side to resist that motion and to stabilize your pelvis. Do a couple on each side and then relax and then engage the transverse abdominis again, drop the rib cage down, and bring each knee out to the side.